Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to model this simple, um, really low poly house. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, we're going to get a couple different shapes, so we'll get some texture going on. Uh, another day we'll do the car. We're not going to do that. We could even do the ground, and maybe we'll even make a tree. We'll see how far we get in the video. I don't want to make it too long. Okay, so uh, let's get started. And I'm just going to call this low poly house. And we're just going to start off with our base structure, which is a box. Okay. And you should remember your shortcuts from the last video. By the way, these are, are marked X, Z, and Y. I don't know why they didn't make it rotate with the camera, but they didn't. It's a little strange. All right. This is more of, this is more of like a building structure, but that's fine. All right, so that's good. So that's going to be the base of the house. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do the windows. <clears throat> so we're just going to make a separate structure for the windows. And there's one thing I like to do when I model is I like to go to show edges. So now we're going to just create another box. And that's going to be one of the windows. And remember, these are the move, rotate, and scale tools. The shortcuts are Q for the, for the selection tool, W for the move tool, E for the rotate tool and R for the scale tool. It's the QWERTY keys right on top of your keyboard. It's in that order. You don't have to remember them if you don't want to. You could memorize them another time. Not a huge deal. Okay. So we're just going to modify it a little bit so it's pretty easy for us to do. Okay. We're not going to do anything where we have um, geometry inside, so we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it pretty simple. Oops, didn't want to do that. All right, uh, let's make this much smaller. If you get this, it means it's inside out. There we go. So like that means it's inside out. We don't want it to be inside out. Okay, so that's good. Make it a little bit wider. Okay, that looks, looks okay. And we'll just kind of put that inside the house. Just clip it in there. All right, cool. Now, we're going to take this thing, we're just going to clone it. Uh, I'm lazy, so I'm just going to clone it. It makes my life easy. I don't have to place everything back. And I'm just going to rotate it like this. And bring it out and up. And what we'll try to do this over, is try to get that. OK, that's, that works. It's about the same width. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller, so let's just. So we could just sort of shrink it here, shrink it down a little bit there. That looks good. And let's try to make it the same. I think I think it should be the same width. Okay. And let's put a little. Let's rotate it a little bit more. And again, I'm completely eyeballing this. You could sort of model it how you want here. That's good. And uh, we'll put a little bar in. You notice how there's a little bar right there? So uh, we'll just go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this, and we're actually going to clone it again. And this just makes our life really easy. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this out, and we're going to scale it. So it's really skinny. And then we're going to rotate it the other way, like this. See? Because if you look, you'll notice that it's in the middle and it's rotated the other way. 
Oops. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this right in the middle of the window. Right about there. Put it off to the side. And that's okay. It'll work. It's not perfect, but that'll work. Usually you only have one of these on a window, so cool. Looks good. And uh, let's add a little bit of color while we're at it. Um, let's just make a roof real quick. So we're just going to take this house and guess what we're going to do? You guessed it. Clone it. And we're going to move it up. And we're going to scale this down. Okay. So we have a little... Now, there's a little bit of an indent here. Um, we could do that with a couple different boxes. So the way we could do this is we're going to go to Edit Clone. Now there's a tool I'm not teaching you. It's called Extrude. I'm not teaching you that tool right now. Once I teach you that tool, you're going to be like, Ah, oh, Mr. Slow, why didn't you teach us that tool? This makes us so much easier. It does. But I don't want to teach it to you yet. I want you to get the basics down of just placing shapes and getting the hang of the, the basic stuff first. So then when I teach you Extrude, let's go ahead and clone this again. Extrude will be really easy for you to do. I think I just cloned the wrong thing. Let's see, did I? Nope. Let's go ahead and clone this. So clone is like duplicate. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to edit clone again. I wish there was a keyboard shortcut for this. There might be. I just haven't figured it out yet. And we're going to rotate this. Now there's a cool thing you could do here. Open up this transform menu. And you guys see where it says negative 70 or negative 69? We're just going to put negative 90. Boop. And now I know it's, it's perpendicular to the other piece I just made. And you guys all know, I'm sure you know perpendicular means it makes a right angle or an L with the uh, shape on the other side. I'll be using words like perpendicular and things like that, so make sure we all know what I'm talking about. So these two shapes right here are perpendicular because this angle makes a right angle or a 90 degree angle, okay? And then we're going to go to here and we're going to go to Edit Clone. And we're going to bring this back over here for another perpendicular. Bam. Looks beautiful. Okay, cool. All right. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and make a door and a, a shape in the middle. So let's go ahead and take this shape up here, and we're going to go to Edit Clone. And I'm going to bring this right down under here. And I'm actually going to scale this out so it's a little bit bigger than the house. And just make sure it's smaller here. Okay. Definitely looks more like a building, but that's okay. Okay, make a door. Again, it's just a box. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a giant door. This would be way too big for this house. You can even make little stairs if you want. You know, whatever. You can go, go ham with it. Okay, there you go. You can put a little doorknob if you want. That's just a sphere. No, sphere is a little too big, right? So we're going to make it way smaller. A simple little doorknob on our house. Okay. And you could add a little window. You guys could add the window on your own. Let's go ahead and add some texture to everything. So let's go ahead and make our house a nice lavender. So what we're going to do is let's, uh, you could name these things if you want. It's up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a new physical. And you could rename this thing house color and uh, just drag this right on the house and we want a nice lavender you actually don't have to make it lavender you can make it whatever color you'd like I like lavender so I'm making mine lavender if you guys don't like lavender you're, you're missing out on life alright so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another material and we'll, we could call this thing Roof color, roof and trim color, 
and we're going to drag this to here. We're going to drag this to here. And let's make this thing like a beige. That's about as good as we're going to get, I think. I'm going to add my own, my own little flare to it. All right. Cool. And let's make one more color. And just because I'm lazy, I don't feel like renaming it. I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to put this here. Whoops. Let's try that again. Hmm. Uh, I don't know why it's not. Okay. So, unfortunately, you can't really get a white color. It's sort of like a gray color. That's fine. Now, if this is a window, right, you probably want to make a new material. And what we'd want to do here is um, you'd want to go to opacity. Let me show you what to do here. So just drag this into the, your window, right? Go to opacity. And you see what's happening? It's becoming see-through. Let me show you. It's hard to see, but... See, it looks like a piece of glass. Now you might say, Mr. Slow, I didn't cut out the house, so this doesn't look so good. Yeah, you're right, it doesn't. So let's not do the uh, opacity right now. We'll just leave it like that. Okay, simple. And then um, do a little window. Again, the window is basically this. Let me show you. I'm going to show you something really clever here. Check this out. I'm going to hold control to select more than one item. Okay. So I'm going to select this, 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 and this. And I'm going to group it. So I'm going to go to edit, group with model, group with null. Okay, so this this group right here. And I'm going to go to edit, clone hierarchy. Watch what this does. It'll create another one of these groups. Now, you say, Mr. Slow, why, why are we doing this? This looks bizarre. This doesn't look anything like a window. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it. Okay. So we're going to rotate it like this. So we're going to make this 90. Okay. We're going to make this 0. And we're going to make this 90. And we're going to scale this thing down. And now we have a window. This is a very cheap way to make a window. So this is called asset reuse. So I had an asset that I already made, right? I had all the detail I wanted. I had all the detail I wanted up here. All right? I'm going to do it again actually. I'm going to go to edit clone hierarchy. And I'm going to take this this one I'm going to move it over here. Okay. So there you go. We have a simple, you could do a little chimney. Let's make a little chimney. All right. And let's just drag a material on there. And let's do some smoke too. So there's there's just going to be some spheres. So I'm just rotating my screen. And I'm going to go to edit clone. take these two guys, hold control to select both, and I'm going to go to edit clone.
and I'm just going to scale them down. You know, maybe I want to get rid of that one. Add a clone. Add a clone. So now I have a little, you know, I can kind of continue doing that. Up and up and up, you know, a couple more times, three, four, five, six, seven more times. Um, and it'll look pretty good. So, And then the last thing I do is I go to realistic and then show edges. So I have a really simple looking low poly house. Okay, so again, this is more, more of reviewing of the tools, things of that nature. Um, moving the camera around. Nothing, you know, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, just basic stuff. And at this point, that's all we need. There's something neat you could do. You could take all of this and go to edit group. Say group with null. Now this group is the whole house. So let's say I wanted a row of these, right? Edit, clone hierarchy. Edit, clone hierarchy. You know, I could do something like this and I could start making a whole neighborhood. Obviously, I'd want to change the smoke, change up the houses a little bit, or, or not. It depends on where you are. Um, but that's it. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. You got some new little techniques out of this, and um, you can start creating some good art on your own. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.